Hey folks, Ben here from Urban Life Pools and Hot Tubs, and right now we're going to talk about what to do if your hot tub goes down in the middle of winter. You might be getting an error on the screen, or you might have a breaker tripping, or you might have a significant leak that prevents your hot tub from running properly. And in minus 40, it's really important to take some crucial steps to avoid further damage and saving you a lot of time and money later. So uh, if you have an older tub like this one, let's say it's uh, got an error code on it, uh, and you know, it's shut the heater down. And if the pumps are still running, that is good news because then you at least have circulation that uh, will keep the water from freezing if it is circulating. Make sure you keep the cover on as much as you can so that uh, it traps the heat inside so that it doesn't get cold unnecessarily. What you really have to worry about, and because like the main area of the hot tub, you've got a long time before that freezes. You might get some ice forming on the top, uh, but uh, in really cold weather, you still have a couple days before anything really bad starts happening inside the main part of the tub. Uh, where you really have to be careful is all of the smaller plumbing, all of these lines, uh, the lines around the heater, all the lines running to the jets, uh, something called manifolds, which have a lot of tiny lines running to jets, things like that. Those are the things that freeze first and what you really have to worry about the most. So what you gotta do, get yourself a small space heater like this one, nice and compact, just a little electric space heater and put it inside the cabinet on low setting and that will keep everything warm enough while, uh, while you're waiting for someone to come fix it. So if you do have a problem, call us right away and this is what we're gonna tell you to do. You might say, well, but I don't have a space heater. Go get one. It's a small investment. They're under $50 and it could save your hot tub. So if you don't have one, uh, in order to be a responsible hot tub owner, you need to have a space heater on hand just in case. It can save you thousands of dollars and it only costs less than 50 bucks. So just put on low settings. So you're not gonna melt anything or anything like that. Uh, just enough to keep it warm inside the cabinet and then close your cabinet back up and that will keep your hot tub safe until we can get to it. We try to be on top of service calls as quick as we can, but uh, there are just times of the year uh, when we're really busy or people are taking holidays and things like that that we just cannot get to it right away and we don't have a 24-hour emergency line at the moment. So uh, make sure you get that space heater in there. Uh, we, you also might want to try doing, if it is an error code, you can try and reset the breaker. Just flip off your breaker for about 10 seconds or so, flip it back on, see if it happens again, and just make sure you report any of this stuff to us. Say, so, yeah, I tried putting the breaker on again or the breaker's tripping or... Uh, you know, the error keeps coming back and telling us what the error is, that's going to help us come prepared and to be able to diagnose this properly. So those are some tips for freezing prevention. Call us right away. Email service at myurbanlife.ca. Get a space heater in the cabinet and keep the cover on at all times. Those are some easy tips for you to, to follow and that could save you hundreds or even thousands of dollars later. Hope that helps and hope you have a great day and hopefully your hot tub never does have any problems in the winter.